Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon X. No healing in battle revenge wedlock challenge. In the last episode, we finished clearing out all of the Frost Cavern, one of the most deadly areas in all of Pokemon. And if you take a look at our team here, everybody is still standing strong. We defeated the entire Frost Cavern without losing a single Pokemon. We definitely avenged my Talon Flame, Alinta, who fell long ago back in the Y wedlock that we are getting revenge on. But that means today, unfortunately, we have to head to Anastar. That's all we have left to do. We've fought every trainer up to this point. It's time to head east of Dead End of Mill to Anastar. And that's very bad for multiple reasons. <laughs> um. First of all, I do want to go ahead and point out, this is the first video I'm recording in a long time, like years, with some sort of fan on in the background. I've learned a new audio trick, so I think I'll be able to edit it out. Let me know if you can even notice. It's just a little fan. It's really hot. It's, it's June. It's almost July. Can you believe it? Anyways, oh my god. It's been over a year since we started the Black 2 Rainbow Wedlock Revenge. Wow, it's been a long time. <laughs> Anyways, we can now head to Anastar. Which means this and the next episode are going to be very horrific. Things are going to get bad. But first, we have to take on Route 17 and the Mammoth Swine Road. But you might be like, oh, so you got a little bit of something to do, right? Actually, I do not. There's no trainers on this route. There is one Sky Trainer, and we don't fight those. So, our next battle is with our rival, and I don't want to do it, but we'll do it. But first, we're going to get our encounter for Route 17 here on this Mammal Swine, and I can assure you it will not be a Mammal Swine. It'll be a Deli. Okay, that's fine. Deli Bird's cool. I'd love to use one. I don't see it being used in this series, though, unfortunately. They aren't good enough to use at the point of the game that you tend to get them, right? Um... And in a no-healing wedlock of X and Y, I don't see myself ever using this Deli Bird, unfortunately. I don't have very many Pokeballs. That's a problem. We're going to fix that as soon as we reach Anastar. But get in this, please. If not, I'll run away from it, actually. I'm not going to bother. Waste my time. All right, we got ourselves a Deli Bird. And for those of you that are new or don't really know me, I'm the, the poster child of give every Pokemon a chance, by the way. Like, I'm that kind of person, but... In a challenge this difficult, it's statistically improbable that Deli Bird would actually do anything. It's just not very good. It has a very bad type and very bad moves. I'd love to use one one day, but not at the seventh gym. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Anyways, Deli Bird's the delivery Pokemon. It carries food rolled up in its tail, and it has the habit of sharing food with people lost in the mountains. It's a good. It's a good girl. She she tries so hard. Um. Honestly, I got nothing. Uh, my naming theme for this playthrough is Survivor Tribes. Um, I don't really want to put too much thought into this one. <laughs> um, surely there's something... Okay, this is beautiful, actually. I like this. It's from Season 5 of U.S. Survivor Thailand, and it's the Thai phrase meaning to help one another. And Deli Bird literally helps people lost in the mountains. So we're going to go ahead and name this Deli Bird. Chewy Gone! We have Chewy Gone the Deli Bird. I hope I'm not pronouncing that wrong. I probably am. I have not seen Season 5 of U.S. Survivor, unfortunately. So, I can't really recall what that would be named if I've never heard it said. But the other tribe in this season is Sukjai, which I, I used in the Y wedlock. And it means Happy Heart in Thai, which also would have fit. But I, I remember using it in the Y wedlock, so I, why not just use Chewy Gone? And call it a day. It's, it's it's cool. It sounds more masculine than feminine to me. I think Sukjai sounds more like a feminine name, but it doesn't really matter. I'm not going to use the Deli Bird. <laughs> and a lot of people are like, why would you catch it? It's because you never know. I could use the Deli Bird. If I ever needed a flying and an ice type for something, for some reason, <laughs> um, I'm not opposed to it. I'm some, Most people wouldn't even consider it. I would consider it given the circumstance. Probably. <laughs> um, it just isn't going to happen. All right, this is the Sky Trainer. Again, 
not and we don't consider those they don't even count they don't even exist i don't have my doubts let's fish right here <laughs> oh what would you catch a water ice type the lapras is buried in there there's literally no water in there though how would you fish don't ask um i'm, I'm so used to the dowsing machine on generation five for the past week or so so i'm looking at my bottom screen and no the dowsing machine's on the top screen there's not too much to find here we've got an icicle plate but i don't have an ice type so on my party anyways this is really just me stalling the impen impending doom that is Callum. <laughs> Can I, do I actually have to put it away to get on Mammoth Swine? Or did I just have to push forward to Mammoth Swine? Hold up, we're gonna do some science. What would they call that? Mythbuster. <laughs> you actually have to put your dowsing machine away to get on Mammoth Swine. Also, Mammoth Swine, I know it's the 3DS. I can only do so much. I, I pictured Mammoth Swine to be bigger than this. <laughs> like, Mammoth Swine's not that much bigger than Sandra here, and that's not a hit on Sandra in any means whatsoever. It's... Mammoth Swine's kind of small. <laughs> oh, man. I, I wonder how big Mammoth Swine looks on Gen 8. Is there an overworld strong spawn for Mammoth Swine? It's possible. Can't think of one. Kaparaja is about the size I would think a Mammoth Swine would be. And there's a strong spawn of that. So... You never know. Please, just give me my items. I gotta get everything. Um, it's my OCD, and I'm not just gonna go right through the route. I gotta stall. <laughs> so, let's talk about Callum. Um, the level limit's 47. There's really nothing there. Wow, they just wasted my time. What's the point? <laughs> I mean, they gotta put something on this little route. Also, I'm gonna bring up something that's kind of makes me sad about Gen, Gen 6 here. Let's take a good look at this town map. That's a big route. Look how long Route 17 is. That's really big. We're already at the end of it. There's nothing here. Like, I feel... I mean, they probably had limitations, I guess. But they could have put so much here. They could have a little, like, a snow village or something. They could have made this a really long route. Just my thought on it. There's a lot of filler in Kalos, I've come to remember. And I like Kalos. I think they could have done so much good with it. With another version but this is like the one time that they didn't do another game they just went here's sun and moon <laughs> you know after Oris, which is another game they dropped the ball on heavily i have to smash the rocks yeah we're already at the end of the route we're at anastar city thanks for your help mammals mine so callum's scary uh, he has a new pokemon yeah i'll just go ahead and talk while we jam through this actually this is him now speak of the devil he actually is a devil in this in this instance Sandra, when the time is now, I challenge you to a battle in front of Anastar's city gym. You better be ready. At least he gives you a warning. You know, he's nice in that regard. Thank you so much, Callum, for warning me about my impending doom. My death that's about to come upon me. Yeah, we're not spraying it up. But that does remind me we need to buy some Pokeballs. Hey, there's a rare candy. That's nice. I'd like to use that. But the level limit's pretty close. It's 47. And he has a new Pokemon in an evolution and you can determine what evolution he has based on what starter you have i don't have a starter anymore but i did it was a chespin that means he has a delphox and i believe that means he has a jolteon jolteon <laughs> that's terrifying oh my goodness i don't feel good about it at all and on top of that, he still has his Meow Stick and Absol. So that's what we're working with right now. I feel sick inside. <laughs> because my team isn't really fit for him. We almost lost Nuku against him last time. Um, but we do get some TMs. Yeah, we'll talk to the Memory Girl here in a minute. I want to buy Pokeballs before I forget. Because I'd hate to find a Shiny Wingall and then not be able to catch it, am I right? You know my first Shiny of this playthrough is going to be a Wingall. It's just gonna happen. All right. Oh, and we can get the TM for Thunder now, which is brilliant. Yeah, that's almost all my money, but I have to. So you might be like, why would you buy Thunder? It's inaccurate and you have Thunderbolt. Well, you haven't been paying attention. Um, we have Thunder now, which both Kucha and Koyopa can learn, which is funny. Kucha's not getting it. It has 70 accuracy. 110 power. That's wicked. I thought it was 120. They nerfed Thunder? They nerfed Thunderbolt too, though, so it's fine. 
It's 20 power more than Thunderbolt. Same chance to paralyze, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, look, look at your attack and special attack are the same. That's kind of pathetic. <laughs> um, anyways, you have compound eyes, which means I think we have a 97% chance to land thunder. It's really unlikely we ever miss thunder. So it is a gamble, but like, why would you not when you have compound eyes? That's the whole point of having a Galvantula with compound eyes so you can use thunder. Nobody can learn any of these things. You can learn fling. Well, probably not. <laughs> it might be useful at some point. Fling with like a berry. No, 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 no. I wanted to save. Shit. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Um, Substitute's a really good DM. I wanted... I don't know what I wanted. Yeah. They'll give me a TM. I wanted to save so I could soft reset and get the one that I wanted. Oops. <laughs> Alright, we'll buy 20 Great Balls. I can't fail a Pokemon with 20 Great Balls. Let's be real. Um, and I'll buy some more Max Repels. I know Super Repels are better, but I don't feel like it. Okay? I just don't feel like it. Let's check out Delibird. <laughs> I don't want to fight him, okay? And I don't have to train, really, because we're pretty much at the level limit. Koyopa almost is. And I think I'm going to have to use Koyopa, and that makes me sick. All right, we have a hustling party. All right, the females have taken the lead. Can you believe it? That's the first time all series, I think. Okay. And, yeah. Delibird. He's like, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. I would like to. But... Like, no. Oh, don't I get to hatch eggs? I do get to hatch eggs. More stalling. <laughs> Everybody's like, e seriously? Do I get to or am I not remembering correctly? Let me open my Discord server and double check when I said I was going to hatch eggs. Not my fault. It's been a while. Two for Anastar and the final two in Kuraway. Okay. We get to hatch some eggs. <laughs> I don't want to fight him, guys. I'm really worried. Um, Memory Girl, we'll talk to you. This is always fun. Um, I'm actually not stalling. I'm just trying to think. Check the memory of my egg. <laughs> um, Vakuma. What's Vakuma's memory? Almost got lost when it explored a forest with Sandra. Definitely remembers that it's feeling indescribable. What forest? I'm, maybe when we trained, when we first got her? Let's see what Koyopa's memory is, and then that's all off. Doesn't be able to remember. But it saw Sandra use a fight. Okay. Kucha. One more. That's it. I promise. We gotta see King Cow, actually. King Cow has been here for a long time. King Cow, what's your memory? Sandra had King Cow hold items like citrus berries to help it along. That's literally the opposite of what I have King Cow do. <laughs> King Cow doesn't hold items. That's the only Pokemon I have that doesn't hold an item. Saw itself in a mirror. Yeah. I think we had Kucha then. No, we had Kucha. Maybe. Let's look. <laughs> I don't remember. And neither does she. She doesn't know anything. Um, but whatever I do, don't go in front of the gym. Because sadness will occur. What's up, little girl? Even if I lose something, Luxray finds it for me. You have a Luxray? Give me your Pokemon. <laughs> right? Wait, we could have a Luxray. <laughs> Ginting? Maybe. I don't think I can go to Route 18 yet. Yeah. How you guys doing? <laughs> um, Do you have anything for me in this house? There should be a Luxray in here. That'd be cool. Ooh. Is this where you learn hidden power? Yeah, you get the TM for hidden power here. Um, I doubt it'll be useful. I, I don't want to bother right now. I'm not going to use it right this moment. But, okay, fine. We'll check a couple. I See, every time I check, I have to edit. So, I'm, I'm a bit concerned with it. Fakuma could use another move. What do you have? Okay, psychic. It's probably not that bad. That actually covers fighting. I like it. Okay, um... 
Pucha wouldn't use hidden power. Kasaya could. What's Kasaya's hidden power? Dark. Interesting. Not really that helpful right now. I guess it could be for coming up. Mm, not bad. Okay, Koyopa. And then I'll check Nuku too, because like while we're here, we might as well. Uh, Koyopa is steel. Not really helpful. Uh, and Nuku. So Psychic on Vakama. I'm actually going to teach hidden power right away. Fire for Nuku. Interesting. Not really necessary. Okay, hidden power on Bakama because Psychic's good. Um, Dark could be good for uh, Kasaya solely for Callum, like a lead against uh, Meowstic, but I'm not using them, so we're not going to do that. Yeah, you can have it back. I, mean, I think you had Protect before, and I told myself that I'd reheat it. Not necessary. Everybody can learn Substitute, right? Yeah. Substitute's nice. Uh, it's really good with, like, the, the good berries. Like, I think we have a Lychee Berry. Or you can get lychee berries, and that reads attack. Um, you can use it to get down to, like... They're they're useful. I don't really like it that much. Yeah, like a Pattaya berry. You can use this, basically, spam substitute to get to a pinch. And then get the special attack boost and sweep. Risky. Not really something I want to do right now. But it could be an interesting strategy at some point. I feel like you're more prone to make, an, uh, make a mistake with Substitute than you are if you don't use Substitute. But sometimes it makes the world of a difference. <coughs> Wand. Anyways, let's go into the clothes shop. You know, I'm loving Sandra's look. I don't want to buy her anything. I like it. I, I, I mean, that bag is pretty spicy. How much is, how much for the ribbon first? It matches my my style. Wait, I gotta go in to put a purse on? Laws, I tell you what. <laughs> All right, that felt hat. We're not doing this. Anyway, ribbon purse. That matches my, my style real well. There she is. She's all rosy, you know what I'm saying? She's looking pretty fire. Okay. Um, count them. Eggs. <laughs> I'm just trying so hard to think about what I'm gonna do, but not actually talk about it. Because it's always exciting. This guy wants me to take his pants age for a walk? That's laughable. Oh no, he wants me to give him a Pokemon. You want my belly bird? <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm a legend. Please stop talking, old man. Don't comment that, by the way. No, you're gonna tell me your story again? I thought he wanted a Pokemon to be his friend. Is that in another house? What are you doing? You told me that story. Do you have Alzheimer's? Come on. Yeah, she's talking about Team Player. I thought he wanted a Pokemon to make friends with. I have no idea. Oh, it's this house. Okay. You're gonna take my deli bird. Because I am the biggest brain. Oh, it's gonna be level 5 and under. No. You... No. How can you be... I hate that. That's probably one of my biggest pet peeves. Is when somebody wants something from you. But then they're picky about it. That's annoying. And we're not going in the cafe. There's nothing. Eggs. Who wants to hatch an egg? Let's do it. Um, We only have four eggs left, so I guess it's, what, just random number generator one through four? Sounds good to me. Are we finally going to hatch the controversial egg, or is the controversial egg going to be the final hatch? That would be pretty hilarious. I remember Slowpoke was the last hatch last time. I think. I think it was. It was, like, one of the last ones. And everybody said that from the start, because it's slow, and then it actually was. It was pretty funny. Okay, one through four. Four. Okay. You, you are in a Pokeball, so you're probably the controversial egg. And then one through three. One. Okay. These two. And then we just have those two eggs left. Can you guys believe it? A Dream Ball and a Timer Ball. It's been so long since I've made them, I couldn't actually tell you what those mean. And this one's a Luxury Ball. And a Pokeball. So yeah, this egg is the controversial egg. It, it was the only one in the Pokeball. So it's time, guys. It's not going to be the final egg. I'm kind of sad I wanted it to be, but I don't think it's going to be actually as controversial as I think. 
I mean, it would have been if it hatched in, like... What's that town? The the Bug Gym town. Santaloon. If it hatched in Santaloon, it would have been pretty controversial. But hatching in Anastar? Probably not that bad. Um, We can explore the sundial, I guess. Because then literally all that's left is Callum. What did you just say? Some people call out-of-place artifacts like this oop art. This might have been made with the mysterious power of Pokemon. Oop, there's art! <laughs> Oop, there's art! You know, I could see it, actually. Is that it? Okay, we'll hatch it in front of the sundial. The fir- Oh, I gotta write up the steps. The first mystery egg to hatch here in Anastar City is gonna be... This is a controversial hatch? Probably. I mean, it has a 60% chance to be controversial. And again, it probably isn't anymore. That's not it. But that's pretty cool. It's a Dynamo. Not the electric type I was thinking I was gonna get. But Dynamo is exciting! I could use an Electros. <gasps> that would be so good. I forgot I made Dynamo an egg, to be fair. This is one of those... You know what's funny? This is an egg that if I hatched Jack in Santa Loon, it would have been dead. <laughs> but hatching it here... Ruby! <laughs> Stop. Anyway. Um, Tynemo. I'm gonna get a name for this Tynemo. It is a, a male Tynemo. And I'll be back in a sec. Okay, guys, I've got a name for this Tynemo from my Survivor Tribe's naming theme, of course. It's from Season 13 of U.S. Survivor, the Cook Islands, and it's just named after an island. But I just kind of like it for a Tynemo. And there's another tribe from the same season that I also kind of like. And I had decided on the one, but now I'm kind of looking at the other. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the initial one. And that tribe from season 13 of US Survivor, and the tribe name I'm giving this Dynamo is Puka Puka. We have Puka Puka, the Dynamo. And I just kind of like it. I don't know. It makes me think of like a fish because I just watched, rewatched the anime episode um, with the Pikachu named Puka, and it's an electric type. I don't know. I just, I like it. Don't ask me why. And the controversial pick that I have alluded to. The entire playthrough and the second and final mystery egg to hatch here in Anastar City is going to be a Torchic! There we have it! The one starter in this entire batch. A Torchic. The reason why I chose Torchic is because we have done two locks on Hoenn. Probably not going to do one in Hoenn for a long time. And Torchic is the one starter from there we did not use. Meaning we probably won't have another chance to use a Torchic. It was either going to be Torchic or Chimchar. But I could see myself doing another Ho another Sinnoh lock pretty soon. You never know. Anyways, why is this controversial? Aside from the fact it's a starter, all of the mystery eggs were bred with their hidden abilities. Meaning this Torchic has a 60% chance to have the ability Speed Boost. It's kind of busted. <laughs> it's ridiculously busted. Um, buy it. We'll cross that when we get to it. Let me name this Torchic. It's probably not female. It is! It's a female Torchic! <laughs> okay. Um, what do we name it? <laughs> I got nothing. Uh, I mean, I could name it after a controversial season. Which, you know what, is kind of sad. Cook Islands, the one that we just did, is a controversial season. But I'm not going to use another name from there. Another controversial season is, um, season 38 because of how bad it was. And we already have Vakama, so I can't... Eh, I don't know what I want to do. That's tough. I'll give... I'm going to think about it. I'll be back in a sec. All right, I'll go ahead and go with this name. It's from Season 7 of South African Survivor, The Island of Secrets. And it is the Samoan word for winner. If we use this torch chick, it will probably be a winner. 
And if it doesn't have speed boost, we can at least just say it's because winner, winner, for chick dinner. <laughs> and that name is going to be Manumalo. We have Manumalo, the tour chick. All right. Is it going to have speed boost? I'm nervous. If it doesn't, then it's just kind of disappointing to everybody that's heard me talk about controversial pick this entire game. And if it does, I need to know if I'm even allowed to use it. <laughs> of course I'm allowed to use it, but would anybody want me to is the question. Um, here, Kucha. I'm not going to look. Actually, I, I'm going to look just because you guys will see it. I can't cover your eyes. Um... So what are these last two eggs? I know one of them. I alluded to one of them in this episode, but I can't remember what the other one is. Only time will tell. You have levitate. I know that. Uh, and you're a male, so you go in here. I can't believe we got a female torchic too. So a mild dynamo. Mild's pretty good. Uh, I like this. Really cool. Unfortunately, though, we already have an electric type. And we also already have a fire type. So, torch it but it doesn't matter. It's a torch. It doesn't have speed boost. Well, you know what? That's fine. Blaziken's still really cool. That's kind of disappointing. <laughs> I've gotten the hidden ability on like every bad hidden ability. Have you noticed? I haven't really gotten a hidden ability that was good. Sap Sipper was kind of bad. Weak Armor was really bad. Um, None of you are eggs, which is kind of shocking actually. None of you are eggs. Huh. Um. No guard was pretty good. Uh. I've gotten bad. Yeah, friend guard is horrific. Doesn't do anything. Oh no, it becomes unaware. Never mind. That was a good one. Sandvale's pretty bad. Quagsire's just bad. Not an egg, but I just wanted to say it. Um. Yeah. Okay. We've got two eggs left. Cool. Um, Callum, <laughs> listen, would you guys be mad if I just ended the episode? I don't think so. I think you guys would be understanding. How about I end the series right here? Okay, hear me out. I'm gonna lose somebody and I just, I, I, I'm, it's guaranteed and I don't want to do it. Like, I just don't want to. I'm being honest with you guys. I'm gonna end the series. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Let me look at my team. The level limit's 47. Koyopa's probably gonna pass that if I use him. Oh, that's gross. I guess if anybody hits 48, we'll just put the level limit to normal and make it 48. But that's annoying. I don't wanna do that. Dude. <laughs> Delphox just kills her. Delphox, see, that's my biggest concern. Delphox kills Kucha, probably. And then Koyopa just dies. I've got nobody that I can set up with. I can't use Vakama and Nuku again. There's no way. They almost didn't make it the last time. And his Pokemon are all male. I can't use King Cow because two of his Pokemon are psychic. And Jolteon. I'm gonna lose Koyopa and Kucha here, and they're my pair for so much. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, and it sucks. You've got Wish. It's such a risk, though. Hidden Power Dark for Meow Stick. It's such a risk. So what do I do? Citrus Berry on both and just call it a day there? Hold on, is there anything that Kucha can learn that might be really helpful? I haven't really looked at Kangaskhan for a bit. <sighs> this is a tough one. Takeout's really nice, obviously. You've got nothing to boost your stats with. Really. You've got power up front. But what about your speed? Yeah, your speed's pretty bad. Alright. I think what I'm gonna do here... 
I think that's probably the place. I'm gonna need Power Up Punch to ensure the hit on some Pokemon. I want Protect for Meowstic's Fake Out. I guess I could just Fake It Out. Who's faster, Meowstic or Kangaskhan? Probably Meow. Kangaskhan has 90 base speed. Are you serious? Like, that's pretty good. And that means mine's probably pretty quickly. Well, pretty quick. I'm nervous. <laughs> um, I guess. How fast is Meowth? It's fine. Outside of battle. Oh, it's really fast. Yeah, you're not going to outspeed. So I guess protect over fake out. Um, and I want Bulldoze, too. Bulldoze is really good for Delphox, Jolteon. But do I actually get rid of Return, or do I just take the Fake Out? It can't be that bad. It might not use Fake Out. It didn't against Vakama. That's a pretty good... That's a pretty good reason. I'm more likely to make an idiot decision if I have Protect. So, is Citrus Berry really my play? Or do I go Salak Berry? I bet I outspeed everything with Kucho with a Salak Berry. That's a big decision for me here. I'm not really sure what I want to do. I don't have a Salak Berry. Never mind. I don't think I can even get them yet. I feel good with a Citrus. So, you might be thinking, well, just use Koyopa for Meow Stick. Yeah, I guess. Koyopa Meowstic. Koyopa Jolteon. Yeah. Koyopa. Yeah, that sucks because I want to be able to get Power Up Punch Up. There's no way Delphox does it. Like. So much that even a Citrus Berry doesn't keep Kucha from living, right? And then, yeah. Well, okay. Okay, I like this. I kind of want to level Kucha up again. But I don't want to cut the video to train. And I... Yeah, here's what we're going to do. I just don't want Koyopa to take a big smash from Psychic or Fake Out or something. I want to divide it more. Oh, your special defense is so much better than Koyopa's. Yeah, we're gonna lead you. Kucha can fight. Ooh, leftovers? Leftovers protect? Leftovers protect isn't bad. I have to go get it, and I have to teach somebody cut. Does leftovers protect give me more health overall than a citrus berry is the question I have to ask. I don't feel like it, it would. Not with how little I'll be using them both, like if I'm dividing them up between two Pokemon each. Meowstic and Delphox and Jolteon and Absol. Okay. I mean, Kucha could honestly fight Jolteon too. Like, what's its worst it's going to do? Double kick? Here's what I'm going to do. Um, Man, the level limit's another issue. How big of a difference does one rare, one level make with Kucha? Surely not enough to make it a big difference. How many rare candies do I have? Can you take any more of this? Yes, okay, cool. You can have that. Ah, this sucks. Here. It's just my gut telling me to do it. How much of a difference does that make? Two speed, two, three attack, three HP, two in each defense. All right, we'll take it. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. I need to just be able to live with it. I have to. Correct. <laughs> um, and the experience share is off, just to make certain. Because I don't want any level problem. Okay. I'm basically going to go into this fight and either regret leading with Kucha... Or regret not having the leftovers or protect or something. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. 
Depends on how hard Psychic hits. Luck could be involved as well. Let's just do it. Ah, oh, it's been committed. Sandra, wait up. I told you we were gonna fight. I can't keep losing to someone who started the journey the same time as me now, can I? Let's have a battle. Time for our fourth rival battle versus rival Callum in front of the Anastar City Gym. In Anastar City, in the Kalos region, he has a new Pokemon added to his team. And his lead remains the same in his male Meow Stick. I need your help, Kucha! I hope I didn't make the wrong call here, but I added you and Koyopa to the team knowing that you two can fight our rival. If I was wrong back then, I'm gonna pay for it now. First up's his Meow Stick. It's level 44 and it's a male, like I said, and it has Fake Out. It will probably use Fake Out. I'm just gonna attack it with Crunch. It did use Fake Out. How much is it gonna do? Not that much damage, but it did get a critical hit. You gotta be joking me. Oh, that's ridiculous. That could make the difference. All right, it's using Disarming Voice, which is really good because it's the weakest move that it has by far. Didn't do anything. Hit this thing with a Crunch, Kucha. Over half. Okay, good. That's all I wanted to see. Over half? Psychic sucks, but... Do you, take me below half. Another critical hit? Are you joking? Oh, that's really bad. I've been crit twice in this fight already. I'm having flashbacks to the Tower of Mastery. That's it for Meow Stick. Oh, no. This was my biggest fear. Seeing Delphox immediately is really bad for multitude of reasons. If Kucha fails to take out Delphox, Koyopa's gonna die. And the rest of my team has to fight a Jolteon and an Absol. I know it's gonna be faster than me. But I can't do it with Koyopa. I have no other choice to make. Kucha's life might come to an end here. And it does hurt to say that. But if Kucha dies but does enough damage to Delphox, Koyopa can live. Because Koyopa's been geared to fight both Absol and Jolteon. That critical hit Psychic is going to be what burnt me here. Crunch does more damage than Bulldoze, but Bulldoze will make it potentially where I can take another hit. Crunch is 80, Bulldoze is only 60, but it lowers its speed. And I know Delphox is quick, but I think I can outspeed it with a Bulldoze. There's a lot that can go wrong in this fight. We've already been crit twice. I'm gonna hope that that's where our luck starts to turn around. Kucha? Oh, don't burn me. I swear to God. Bulldoze this thing! I think a crunch will knock it out. I really do. But is one speed drop enough? It doesn't matter. I cannot switch out to Koyopa. Crunch this thing, Kucha! Yeah! Kucha! 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 That's what I needed to see! Next up's Jolteon! And you've done all you need to, buddy! If your partner makes it out of this fight alive, you definitely are gonna deserve something from me! Koyopa, let's do this! Alright, I played that brilliantly. Bulldoze was necessary for her survival. Jolteon's next, and it's electric versus electric. Hit this thing with a signal beam, Koyopa! Quick attack is brilliant. It's gonna do minimal to nothing. Signal beam! Take this Jolteon out of here! That did, like, no damage. Excuse me? What? All right, keep using Quick Attack. This charge probably doesn't do anything either. Well, it's going to do more than Quick Attack, obviously, but... I'm in... I'm in... I'm in... I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, dear God. Signal Beam's probably a range. Thank you for Quick Attacking. Please take me below half. Yes! All right. Brilliant! That's going to give me much more health than I would have had... For Absol, if we finish it off. Good. Okay, that's Jolteon done. 
Oh, God. I didn't expect this fight to go so badly at the start, but it definitely turned around. But it's not over yet. His final Pokemon is Absol. It's a Dark type level 44, and Signal Beam will most certainly do over half. But if we don't outspeed, it might be able to kill Koyopa here. All right, Signal Beam does outspeed. If it crits me with Super Luck, we're in big trouble. Thank you. That's it for Absol. And that's it for Callum. Without a doubt, it's been a long time coming. But Kucha, I never expected you to do so well here. And I never expected you to be the first Pokemon in this adventure to earn one of these. Like a boss. Yes, like a boss indeed, Kucha. Wow. Boss stamps are not easy for me to give out anymore. It's something I give my Pokemon when they do something incredible and save another Pokemon's life and not just themselves. And that's not a situation that you run into a lot when you can't use items in battle. You have very minimal chances to get out of a sticky situation. And it either happens or it doesn't. And it normally does not happen. If Kucha failed to take Delvox out there, Koyopa's life may have come to an end. If she didn't outspeed, Koyopa's life most certainly would have come to an end. And even though Koyopa has Sucker Punch, if Callum healed Delphox, if Callum just outsped, Kucha's partner would have died. Kucha hitting through first and taking out Delphox saved Koyopa and her own life. And that is most certainly boss material for me. What a note to end this episode on. I was very worried to do that fight, but it went... It went badly. <laughs> like, let's put it this way. It went very poorly. <laughs> um, but we turned it around. I'm glad I taught Bulldoze. I'm glad I really thought through that. Bulldoze was necessary. Without it, we would not have been able to outspeed Delphox on the following turn. Wow, Kucha. I'm glad to see you making waves out here. Like... Kucha's definitely been the member on this team, to me at least, that has just kind of been there. Not really done anything yet, but she's not really had the chance to. I think she proved herself to be a stellar Kangaskhan here today. So with that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like on your way out if you did enjoy it, of course. And if you want to see more weblocks just like this, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Every YouTuber says to ring the bell. But for my weblocks, if you want to watch them in order as they come out, ring the bell. YouTube's not going to show you all of the weblocks because they don't do as well as what other stuff I upload does. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time when we face off against the seventh gym leader of this adventure in the psychic type master, Olympia. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.